Hey, I'm Dane. And I'm Hay. And we're, we're the Down Under Brothers. Brothers. We've got a brilliant episode for you. It's about sapphires and zircons. We've got b bags of wash from four different companies over at the gem fields. We're going to be comparing them. Today we're just showing you guys the cutters that we found. So this isn't just what we found from them, it's just the ones that we were sent off to be cut. The four places we got washed from were Gemfields Fosking Park, Armfest, Anarchy Caravan Park, Blue Gem Caravan Park. We gotta remember that sapphires and zircon are a natural resource. When you go and buy a bag, it can't be consistent of so many sapphires in it because there are only so many in the world and so many in spots that we go to. Sometimes you're going to get good ones, sometimes you're going to get bad ones. Sometimes you're going to get tiny ones, sometimes you're going to get massive ones. Know how you get like too small a sapphire to get cut or zircon because it's too small or it's too skinny. Or maybe you've got a big one but the quality is bad. So you go home and you don't want to throw it out because it's a precious resource. My mum has got a project that she wants to do with her wasted sapphires that she can't get cut. So she needs to heat more oodles and oodles she needs. If you got some sapphires or zircon that can't get cut or anything and they're just sitting around, send them over here and she'll use them for her art pro project. Thanks for thinking of us. That'd be really neat. You can send us a message on Facebook, search up Down Under Brothers, and it'll pop up and you can just say whatever you want to say. And we'll give you our virtual address. That'd be great. If you want to know if you can send a sapphire over to Lambert's or another place to get cut, you can check out one of our upcoming videos. We'll teach you all the ins and outs that we know of. I want to tell you that we're not professionals, but we've been doing it for a few years. We've picked up a few tricks along the way, and we'll be sharing them with you today. Yes! Woohoo! A cutter is a gem that can be cut and put in a ring or a necklace or whatever you want. A lot of people send their gems to Lambert, it's in Thailand. The minimum requirement of gem size is four millimeters by four millimeters by four millimeters. That's for the rough cut stone. To send them off to Lambert, you have to meet a certain criteria, which is no obvious fault lines or cracks, and most of all, the size. And of course, there's the cull. At Gemfield's Fossil King Park, you can get three bags for 40 bucks in August on 2020. For Gemfield's Foster King Park, bag one, we had a total cutter weight of 28.75 carats. For bag two, we had 14.55 carats. Bag three, 22.70 carats. And this was the lowest amount of carrots that we got in bag four, which was 10 carrots, 10.8 carrots. The highest amount of gems that we got was 28.9 carrots worth. Then for bag six, we got 27.7 carrots. For bag seven, we got 22.8 carats for bag for bag 8 we got 21.8 carats for bag 9 we got 26.45 carats not too shady eh at Anarchy Caravan Park we could get one bucket for 10 bucks the quantity of the bucket wasn't that big, so we put two buckets in one bag. So we got like one and two here for two buckets. Right now on the Anarchy Caravan Park, 
in bag one and two. Cut a total was 26 carats. Bag three and four was 50.45 carats. The bag five and six was 31.55 carats. The seven and eight was nine carats. The nine and 10 is 23 carats. The bag 11 and 12 was 17.80 carats. Are you wondering how we work out how many carats there are? Because you use a, a scale. Here, I'll show you. This scale is a special scale. It, you can change the units so that can show you in the amount of carrots, which is what you use to measure the weight of the sapphires and zircons. Here, I'll show you. We'll turn it on. It says carrots right up here. So this is what you do. You just put your sapphire on the scales. It'll tell you the amount of carrots it is, and then that's how you tell. All right, let's move on to Armfest. Armfest costs $25 a bag. For Armfest bag one, the total cutter weight was 32.95 carrots. Bag two was 33.85 carrots. For bag three, 54.7 carrots. The lowest amount of carrots we got from Armfrest was 14.7 carrots. The highest amount of carrots we got from Armfrest was 67.75 carrots. The highest carrot weight was for bag 5 at 67.75 carrots. For bag 6, we got 26 Point seven carrots, bag seven, thirty three point three carrots, bag eight, which was my bag, I bought that one, was forty four point four five carrots. Heath bought the bag nine, and their total carrots was forty seven point four carrots. The next bag is from Blue Gem Caravan Park. And the bags cost twenty dollars. The number one, the cutter total was zero point zero 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 carats. Didn't even get one cutter. Barely even got any waste in the wash as well. The number two, the cutter total was three point three five carats. And that was only one sapphire. The largest sapphire that we got was from Armfest. It was 25 carats. Look at it, it's a whopper. And this one's cuttable too, so it'll turn out to be a pretty big stone. Now we're on to second wash. What that means is we went through our wash a second time after washing it, and then this is what we found. All of this would have been thrown out if we didn't wash it. For bucket one was five carrots, for bucket two was 13.89, for bucket three was 2.75. If you're one of the people over at the gem fields that sell wash and you want to be included in one of the next sapphire reviews that we do, just give us a message and we'll get the conversation rolling. We want to thank Blue Gem Caravan Park and a Anarchy Caravan Park, Armfest, and Gemfield Fossicking Park for participating in this survey. They all had really good customer service, but there was one that really went the extra mile. Mark at Gemfield's Fossicking Park had great customer service. He was really eager and excited to show you all of you guys how to find gems, the best way to find them, all the techniques. He also has all sorts of gear to hire out so that you, you can go get your own wash. And he showed us how to do divining. So not most people 
know that divining is for water, but you can also find large quantities of gems with divining, divining rods. It works exactly the same way as if you're doing it with water. And if you want to learn more about it, we'll put a link to the video down here. The best thing that you guys can do for us is to share our videos. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.